Welcome back to the Danny Mac Road to Glory series on NCAA Football 14. If you are new here, I turned my eight-year-old son into one of the nation's top running back prospects, and he's now wrapping up his sophomore season at Arkansas State University. And what a sophomore campaign it has been. Through 12 games, Dan has carried the Rock 239 times for 1,759 yards with 20 touchdowns. But where he's truly shined was at receiver. He finished the regular season with 89 catches for just under 1,200 yards and six scores. Danny was the offense this year for the Red Wolves. He put the team on his back and carried them to a 10-2 record. After such a stellar season, Dan is being recognized by Heisman voters. Right now, he is number one on a lot of voters' boards, but there's some stiff competition in the top five. Danny's also up for the Walter Camp Player of the Year Award and the Dope Walker Award that recognizes the nation's top running back. Both would be a great honor for the sophomore. Right now, the Red Wolves are projected to play against Northern Illinois in the GoDaddy.com Bowl. Doesn't look like Dan will get a chance to show what he could do on New Year's Day, though. So we sim ahead and we see that Danny Mack has finished second in the Heisman Trophy race. QB Patrick Sertain for Bama walks away with the coveted award by almost 500 votes. But Dan did walk away with the Walter Camp and Doak Walker Award, and he was named to the first team All-American list, the first unanimous player in Arkansas State history. Such an amazing season for a sensational sophomore. So Danny and the Red Wolves are headed to Mobile, Alabama and the GoDaddy.com Bowl to take on Northern Illinois. Time to strap up. First quarter action, Dan splits out wide, runs the slant, makes the catch, and takes an awkward hit, but gets 14. Then on first, Dan takes the power right, gets great blocking downfield, puts a move on the safety, and turns on the burners. Danny Mack takes it 61 yards to the house. What a play. A-State's up 7-0. NIU would come down and score, and Dan takes the delay, gets hit, and only picks up a yard. Then on third and long for A-State, Dan comes out of the backfield, and he's open, but Trail gets sacked, Red Wolves would punt. And NIU would come down and score again. Dan splits out wide, calls for the ball, but this time Trail gets intercepted. The QB threw it late. And just like that, NIU is up 21-7. Danny catches the screen, turns upfield, cuts inside, catches a block, he spins out of a tackle, makes a move, and gets tripped up after gaining 23. Next play, Dan gets the rock, goes up the middle, weaves, and picks up four. New set of downs for the Red Wolves. Danny comes out of the backfield, but the linebacker wraps him up for no gain. The drive was stalled. A-State would punt. The NIU offense is dominating, man. They score again, and A-State is looking to get anything going. Dan picks up five on this counter. Then he comes out on a wheel route, makes the grab, and picks up 15. It would lead to a field goal. Next, Red Wolves possession. Danny takes the delay, bounces off a player, and picks up three. Later, Dan takes the option right, cuts up field, jukes inside, and picks up five. Then Danny takes the power right, but the DN makes a great play against the TFL. Next play, Dan swings out of the backfield and is wide open. He makes the catch and gets into the end zone. A state down 11. The A-State defense cannot stop NIU's offense. They score again. We got 20 seconds left. Dan runs the wheel route, makes the catch, and powers ahead for 13. A few plays later, Dan runs past the corner, and he's wide open. He gets into the end zone before the half. Red Wolves down 11. For behind-the-scenes fun and family vlogs, hit up our weekly vlog channel. We've got almost 1,000 family fun videos over there. Join the Mag Pack. Link is down in the description. But NIU would come out and score again, and the Red Wolves look to answer. Dan takes a right, cuts inside, and gets seven. Then number five gets it again, bounces it out right, makes a cut, and picks up nine more. Later in the drive, he takes the handoff up the gut, spins, and gets enough for the first. Next play, D-Mac gets the handoff, cuts it back inside, makes a juke move, and he powers ahead for 13. Then he takes the stretch right, follows behind his blockers, and he gets nine more. A few plays later, the sensational sophomore would punch it in and break the A-State touchdown record in a season. What a year for this sophomore. But the Red Wolves are still fighting. Dan gets the option, cuts it back right, makes two nasty jukes, and gets tackled after picking up 14. A few plays later, Danny takes the delay up the middle and only picks up a couple yards. It's fourth down. Dan comes out of the backfield, runs the seam route, and makes the grab for 16. Then Danny Mac takes the power right, follows behind his blockers, and gets pushed out after picking up 14. 
Two plays later, Dan takes the handoff outside and is pushed out after picking up two. Coach set up to go for it on fourth. Dan tries to power it in up the middle, but gets stuffed. Turnover on downs. But the Red Wolves would get another chance. Dan comes out of the backfield wide open, makes the grab, and gets the first. Later in the drive, Danny runs that wheel route and gets into the end zone. A-State down 10. The Red Wolves defense gets the stop. Dan swings out of the backfield, makes the catch, cuts up field, and only picks up three. Then he sneaks out again, and he's left wide open and gets pushed out of bounds after picking up 13. 55 ticks left. Dan swings out of the backfield, tries to make the catch, but the ball is overthrown, and that would do it. A-State suffers their third loss of the season in the GoDaddy.com Bowl, losing 47-37 to to Northern Illinois. But Danny Mac put on a show, 164 yards on the ground with two touchdowns, 13 catches for 179 yards and three scores. Danny did his part and more. But let's talk about this record-breaking season for Danny Mac. 261 carries for 1,923 yards and 22 touchdowns. He averaged just over seven yards a carry. And as a receiver, he caught 102 balls for 1,378 yards and nine touchdowns. He broke several records in his sophomore season, but the Red Wolves could not get that ball win. But it's time to get ready for his junior season. Could this be Danny Mac's last year to Arkansas State Jersey? We will see. Their first game is against Missouri. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell. Join the Noti Squad. Hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG at Big C Get Game. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.